temporarily both or neither, this concept is intimately related to the concept of gender role, which is defined as the outward manifestations of personality that reflect gender identity. I uh, okay, you make gender role plural, concept of gender roles. Put S sa uh, word na roles. So are there any other amendments? Um, verb consistency, so gender roles, which are defined as the outward manifestations of personality that are generated, yes. Please replace S with R. No, not that are not that is the sec uh katabinong roles which is defined. So which are defined. Alright, so for the fourth clause, can you scroll down? Whereas pronouns are an import pronouns are an important part of how students, teaching and not teaching staff of the institution because they identify themselves based on how they want to be addressed. Number one. Pronouns are linguistic tools that we use to refer to people, such as they, them, theirs, she, her, hers, and he, him, his. They, them, theirs, a non-gendered or all-gender pronoun, they, them, may also be used when pronouns are unknown. This functions as both a singular and plural pronoun. Third, pronouns do not indicate how someone identifies in their gender, as, there, as gender is personal, complex, and specific to that. So, is there anybody who wish to amend this fourth clause? So hearing none, let's proceed to the fifth class. Uh, DJ, can you scroll down? Whereas an honorific is a form of address indicating respect. This can be titles, like uh, prefixing a person's name. Uh, first, Mr. A gendered honorific often used to refer to men, not always. Miss, a gendered honorific, re honorific to refer to women, but not always. Mix. An alternative to common gendered honorific such as Mr. and Miss it is often used by trans and non-binary people or those who do not wish to be referred to by gendered honorifics. Are there, is there any amendment on this uh, specific clause? So hearing none, let's proceed to the sixth clause. Whereas there will be an additional section in the personal information forms of students, teaching, and non-teaching staff that is designated for the pronouns and honorifics. The collected data will be used as reference for the proper pronouns and honorifics. For those unidentified pronouns and honorifics, neutral gender pronouns and benef and honorifics will be utilized. Are there any amendments to this clause? Right, so hearing none, let's proceed to the seventh clause. Whereas, to recognize and respect the gender identity of students, teaching and non-teaching staff, members of the General Legislative Council, shall implement a regulation that mandates the correct usage of gender pronouns and honorifics to USC and CSU paper document circulate in the institution. Um, again, the chair uh, like amend this. Pronouns and honorifics to all student organization Documents. All right. Um, oh, lifeline president, what is your pressure? You are recognized. Um, good afternoon once again. Uh, for the previous, I have, uh, I was delayed in sending my uh, proposed amendment. So can we also go back to the previous? Uh, for the second, for the number two, those unidentified pronouns and honorifics, neutral gendered pronouns and honorifics, uh, can we also, uh, can, uh, I move that the word will be replaced with can, can be utilized, or might be utilized. Alright, so that is in order. I don't think. And anyway, it will hurt the the essence of the clause. So uh, the suggested word is might instead of will. So 
mind instead of the cat. Alright. Is that all? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Prime President. Yes, thank you. Alright, thank you. So again, uh, for this uh, 7th class, honorifics to student organizations. Uh, DJ, it's a highlighted part on the 7th class. Usage of gender pronouns and honorifics to all student organizations. Sa taas niyang, now therefore it be it resolved na was Ayan o. Organization lang kasi yung nilagay mo. Um, pardon pa, Mr. Chair? Can you repeat po ulit? Um, kulang po yung nilagay mong a proposed amendment by the Chair on the 7th clause. Please put student organization. Please put student. Noted po. Alright, so next clause. Now therefore be it resolved, as it is hereby resolved to urge the members of the General Legislative um, Council instead of Assembly. Please also replace this. Members of the General Leg Legislative Council to approve the regulation that mandates the correct usage of gender pronouns and honorifics. All right, uh, we're gonna amend this. Um, I'm gonna check the title here, so therefore it has to be uh, consistent with the uh, title. So wait, uh, before I entertain uh, Miss Lifeline President, I uh, wanna go back to the proposed amendment of Miss Darcy on the title. So Tekin, could you? Please go back to the title part of the resolution and please input uh, the proposed amendment. A resolution encouraging student leaders of Biko University for the correct for the correct usage of pronouns and honorifics to all student organization documents to recognize the gender identity of students, teaching, non-teaching staff, teaching staff that circulate in the university. Sounds better. Mr. Chair, may be recognized. Takiri, could you please? Mr. Chair. Uh, Chair. Yes, please. Uh, Honorable Chair, may be recognized. Oh. Um, before I recognize you, um, nauna po si Lifeline President. Uh, Lifeline uh, President. You are recognized. Uh, just for consistency uh, regarding the uh, the previous uh, clause in the lower part, the the, the last the latter part, uh, can I request to scroll down? Po? All right. After we have put the revised title, uh, so okay. tech team is it already done? If you put all the revised title. Resolution encouraging the student leaders of the university. For the correct usage. For the correct. For, okay. A resolution encouraging the student leaders of the university for the correct usage of pronouns and honorifics to all student organization documents to recognize the gender identity of students, teaching and teaching staff and student in the uh, university all right that is in order so now let's attend to the concern of lifeline president which boss are you referring to uh to the latter part clauses to, just to be uh, consistent with the word uh encourages so may i uh yes. I, I move that the word mandate in before the clause of now therefore be it the the word that shall in General Legislative Council shall implement a regulation that the word mandate be replaced with the word uh, encourage, encourages. And same with the uh, next uh, clause.
that word uh, to approve the regulation that encourages Thank you very much. Is that all of your proposed amendments? Ah, uh, yeah, that that's it. Thank you very much. All right. So I'm now asking the proponent to please check the consistency of these, of these two last clauses, whereas. Uh, to recognize and respect the identity and the uh, last clause now therefore be resolved for it to be consistent with the title of the resolution. So finally, please uh, uh, and make it uh, consistent. US because in the title, the no mention of student leaders. So, for these last two, uh, for the final clause, I think it's best if we also make it consistent. Recognized, yes, you are recognized. Just to replace the uh, term USCCSC to student organization. Are there still any amendments? Mr. Chair, maybe recognize. Um, yes. Uh, later. Uh, I'm still asking Ms. Darcy if she, she, is still, she still has any amendments to this. All before the student organization. And uh, all right. The, so. The term in. Uh, dun din nata sa, sa class above this. Now there it will be a result class. Um, but, Mr. Chair, can you uh, repeat po yung sinabi ko kanina? Thank you. Um, may, sa, may same phrase kasi ng to all student organization sa preceding class nitong na therefore be resolved. So, is also put all. DJ, yung clause na to, where as to recognize and respect the gender identity and the sa clause. Last sentence, pronouns and honorifics to all. This would uh, all to be consistent to the last, uh, last uh, clause. Noted po. All right, thank you. So, uh, Mr. Uh, again, I'm going to ask Ms. Darcy, is that all of your amendments to, to these two clauses? All right, so I'm going to entertain uh, Mr. Llorente. What is your pleasure? Uh, thank you, Chair. I have two uh, amendments, po, Chair, uh, starting po with the title. Um, if we mm -hmm. uh, can, uh, if we, if we, can remove uh, the leaders, so it will be uh, read as follow: a resolution encouraging the students of Biko University for the correct usage of pronouns and honorifics to, to all student organizations, so that it would be um, more inclusive for uh, not only to the to the to the students yes. of Biko University. Uh, the second, uh, that's not that's the first. Uh, that's the first. Uh, that's the first uh, amendment, uh, Chair. And then the second oh, will be on the resolve clause, the first resolve clause of the resolution. Um, first last resolve, clause. La last clause. Um, for the first resolve clause, uh, Chair, um, I'm having, um, dif uh, no, I think the, the last, the, the last uh, the, fir the, the first uh, resolve clause should um, 
should uh, I mean it should um in line with the title. There, there are, I'm mm. having there are two there are already two um premise, premises here. The first one is to urge the members of the general general assembly to approve. Um, I think it is not uh, necessary to state this in the resolve part. Uh, therefore, Mr. Chair, I would like to amend this uh, as follows. Now, therefore, be it resolved, as it is as it is hereby resolved, to encourage the mm -hmm. uh, to, to encourage the student the students of Biko University for the of the correct usage of gender pronouns and metrics to all student documentation documents that circulate the university. Yes, that is in order. Uh, could you please type it in the Zoom so our <gasps> properly in order? Um, as far as I can remember, as it is hereby resolved to encourage students of uh, tech, please remove the members of the General Legislative Assembly to approve the regulation. Yeah, hanggang regulation. Hanggang reg to approve the regulation, please remove. To encourage the students of people. Basta yung inconsistent lang sa title, same, naka-same sa title. So, Dan, please uh, type it fast. Alright, so while we're waiting, I'm still entertaining for any amendments. I, so, Mr. So chair, chair. Yes, please. Help, last, one last amendment, Chair. Um, I'm just, okay, um, sure. ano, uh, it is regarding with the uh, in, uh, document that circulate in the university. However, Chair, there are also a uh, document. Does this mean that we will, it will not apply to documents that uh, is not uh, outside the university? Uh, I would just like to remind everybody that we also have, uh, we also uh, uh, circulate uh, document. Uh, for example, we if we are uh, looking for uh, resource speakers, uh, <laughs> resource speakers. So I guess it is also, it can be also used uh, this resolution or this um, uh, the honor, the prop, uh, proper pronouns pronoun should also be used uh, in in the documents of the university. Therefore, a uh, chair, I would like to also amend the uh, uh, to amend oh, the title and then the last. Uh, the last, the, 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 the mm -hmm. resolve, the first resolve as follows for a resolution encouraging the student of Beacon University for the correct usage of pronouns and honorifics to all students' organization documents to recognize the gender identity of student, teacher, uh, non teaching staff, and concerned individuals. Concerned individuals that circulate inside and outside the universe. Um, Alright, thank you for the amendment. But the chair suggests that for us, ang haba na kasi ng title ng resolution. So, I think it would not hurt the resolution if we will remove that circulate within and outside the university. Mm -mm. So, um, the teaching staff and all concerned individuals, I think it's inclusive enough that states uh, within and outside the university na yun. Here. All right, so again, uh, the amendment was the gender identity of students, the teaching and non-teaching staff, and all concerned individuals. So after teaching staff, please put, uh, and all concerned individuals. So that, uh, that will refer to the speakers outside, uh, for, for example, governor, etc. Uh, please remove the young phrase that circulate in the university. All right, so again, I'm reading the title, Resolution Encouraging the Students of the University for the Correct Usage of Pronouns and Honorifics to All Student Organization Documents to Recognize the Gender Identity of Students, Teaching and Non-Teaching Staff in All Concerned individuals. Um, That sounds okay to me, so is there any wish to amend the title so that we can finally amend the last clause for consistency. Alright, so hearing none, hello again.
let's proceed to the uh, last clause to make it consistent. To encourage the students of Bicol University for the correct usage of gender pronouns and yeah, to encourage the students of Bicol University, uh, please remove that encourages the phrase. For, please replace it with the word for. Please remove that. Please remove yung word na that. And please replace with for. I mean yung word na that, not the. Yes, for the correct usage of gender pronouns and honorifics to all student organization document. Uh, that recognizes, please put or uh, copy the title. That recognizes the gender identity. That recognizes, uh, and to recognize the gender identity of students in teaching staff and all concerned individuals. All right, so uh, while well, the fact is uh, finishing the amendment, um, is there still anybody who wish to amend all of the uh, clauses? Any clause that you have missed? Do you have any concerns? Um, it's Mr. Llorente, um, Lifeline President. Do you still have any amendments? Ms. Larce? So, I guess hearing none, um, let's proceed with reading all of the proposed amendments. Can you please scroll back to the title? So, to save time, I'm going to read. Resolution number 009, resolution encouraging the students of the university for the correct usage of pronouns and honorifics to all student organization documents to recognize the gender identity of students, teaching and non-teaching staff, and all concerned individuals. Clause number one. Whereas, because, um, clause number one, no amendment. Clause number two, no amendment. Clause number three. Whereas, gender identity is defined as a personal conception of oneself as male or female or really both or neither, this concept is intimately related to the concept of gender roles, which are defined as the outward manifestations of personality that reflect gender identity. Clause number four, no amendment. Clause number five, Could you please scroll down? Whereas, uh, clause number five, no amendment. Clause number six, also no amendment. And clause number seven, whereas there will be an additional section in the personal information forms of students teaching, non-teaching staff. Um, I wish to add here and all concerned individuals to be consistent with the title. Teaching and non-teaching staff and all concerned individuals. And all all concerned individuals. All right. And also individuals. That is designated for pronouns and other effects. One, the collected data will be used as reference for the proper pronouns and honorifics. Second, for the amendment, for those unidentified pronouns and honorifics, gender neutral, uh, ge neutral gendered pronouns. Neutral gendered pronouns. Um, all right, so there won't be any difference. And honorifics might be utilized. Okay, so next. Whereas to recognize and respect the gender identity of students, teaching, and non-teaching staff, and all concerned individuals, is also put. And all... Wait lang. Parang redundant na to sa last class. Um, ah, oh, wait lang. Let's check. Whereas to recognize and respect the And all concerned individuals, Please, pa pakilagay din daw yung and all concerned individuals. The members of the Senate implement regulation. Um, 
uh, I would like to ask the body to review this clause if there's any redundancy to the last clause. Uh, Ms. Larce, Ms. Terriorente. Yes, I, I find it inconsistent to the title and to the rest of the uh, resolution. Members so Mr. Chair, um, Honorable Chair, may I be recognized? Yes, then Mr. Duran, then you recognize. Uh, I, I agree, uh, Chair, that, that the, the last has the same has thought so I think it's a uh, redundant sharing the last whereas clause. All right, so that, that is in order. So we can remove that clause. All right, so now after the second for those unidentified pronouns, it reflects the Now, it might be the gender identity of students teaching and non teaching staff and all concerned communities. Resolve further, resolve further that the copy of the resolution will be furnished to all concerned offices. Done this fourth day of March 2020 during the University of General Legislative Town, um, uh, Council by Zoom conference. So now that we have presented all of the amendments for this resolution, the chair recommends for a motion to adopt all of the amendments. So is there any motion? Um, oh, may I be recognized? I'd like to call. Yes, you're recognized. I move for the adoption of the amendments of resolution 009, series of 2022 for its ratification. Sorry. That is in order. So we're going to put it to vote. Uh, I mean, is there any second? I mean, second. All right, thank you. Are there any questions, manifestations, and objections? So, hearing none, we're going to proceed to vote. Uh, kindly proceed to our voting poll. The motion is to adopt the amendments for resolution number 009. And please uh, vote. Thank you.
um, may I see the results of the vote? Um, again, please cast your votes, guys. Attending the GLC is one thing, and then voting for the, for the resolution is another thing. So don't waste your votes, please. Thank you. I'm proposing for another 30 second extension. Please step in. Thank you. Please cast your votes for. seeing some of the private information uh tech team, so we wanna hide yung mga yun. all right so the time has elapsed the vote on the motion to adopt amendments uh tallying the votes uh, zero, uh, not in favor, got zero, abstain, got zero, and those in favor got 39 votes. So the motion uh, to adopt all the proposed amendments for resolution number 009 is hereby approved. We're now proceeding to the third and final reading of the resolution. The chair recommends to suspend the third reading and proceed immediately to the ratification of the resolution. Um, may I recommend Yes, Ms. Larsay, you are right. So I move to suspend the third reading of the resolution and proceed immediately to the ratification proper. Thank you. That is in order. So are there any second? Again, are there any second? I second. I second the motion. All right, thank you. Are there any questions? Manifestations, objections to the motion. None. The motion is hereby approved by general consent. And now, the third, uh, third and final reading of the resolution has been suspended. The chair would entertain any motion for the ratification of resolution number 009, Ms. Uh, proponent. Ms. Proponent, would you like to state the motion in honor of your work in this resolution? Pardon, Pa. Ms. Larsen, do you wish to state the motion? For the ratification proper of resolution number 009, the members of the General right. Union Thank you. So, are there any second? Is there, are second there any second? Please second the motion. Thank you. So, again, please, please participate. Okay, thank you. So, there is a motion to ratify resolution number uh, 009. Resolution number 009. So, again, this requires two-thirds vote of the members present in this meeting. So, Becky, can we create the poll? Uh, motion to ratify resolution number 009. Again, this requires two thirds vote for the members present in the meeting. So, kindly please cast your vote. So, I'm expecting more than 40 votes should be here. Again, po, don't waste your votes. Sign naman po yung presence. Nandito na tayo. So please cast your votes. All right, so please proceed to vote.
uh, testing. Uh, please put the timer. So, please vote po. Thank you. Hello, the time has elapsed, but not all, all members has voted. Please, please cast your votes. Wag na po magpahintay. Thank you. Uh, again, another minute for the vote, for the division of the house. Um, sir, should that arms please help uh, identify those who haven't voted yet? Thank you. Do please vote now. Again, meron matitigas ang ulo, ayaw mag-vote. Um, sa inyo rin yan, sinasayang niyo ang vote ninyo to represent the student body for this, uh, for the motion. Um, can, Dan, can you please scroll up again kasi iba na yung poll na nakikita ko sa screen. Nasaan na yung poll for the ratification? Ayan, so, all right. So, since we are 50 here in Zoom meeting and two-thirds vote is at 33, having reached two-thirds vote in favor, uh, 33 votes, exactly 33 votes, zero not in favor and zero abstain. Therefore, resolution uh, number 009 is hereby approved and ratified. And applause is in order. Um, I'm requesting the proponent if you have any uh, message to the body, to the chair, to everyone. Thank you. Ms. Huseng, uh, Lars. Thank you so much for supporting this resolution. It's actually a primary step for us to create a safe space for gender confirming and addressing that they, they are part of their university and recognizing their diversity is actually a good start and proposing that and putting that in the documents is okay uh a good start for us to recognize their diversity again so thank you so much thank you so much for those who believe the essence of this resolution thank you thank you miss Narce, and once again congratulations so now uh, that i have done my part as your uh, temporary presiding officer and um, so grateful for the opportunity and honored to observe you all. I hope you had a great time with me as your chair. So now I'm relinquishing back the, the floor to our chief legislative officer to discuss the other matters and other parts of the order of business. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Hello, um, good evening. Thank you so much, Mr. Sorry for that. Thank you so much, Mr. Torre Nueva, for presiding and taking over when I'm not around. Now, congratulations to all the resolutions that has been ratified for today's special meeting. We appreciate your courage and your dedication and your passion to serve the students of Bicol University. 
And uh, just an update, we have a total number of eight resolutions. No, it's six resolutions passed, including the resolutions from our first Legislative Council meeting last Monday. So congratulations to all the authors para sa mga BUN or the Biko University. Sorry, just someone sneezed here. Anyway, um, now we move on to the next uh, item here in the order of business for the other matters. So, uh, actually, the other matters and for the announcements will just be <laughs> merged <laughs> because I just have to reiterate the schedule of the next uh, General Legislative Council meeting that will be on April 9. However, please anticipate that there's a big possibility that it will be moved to a uh, later date, but not very late. Uh, it's just that we have to adjust because nakatapos lang po ng ating pag, um, pagbasa din ng mga pending resolutions. And congratulations again for that. Now, for the other matters, we will start accepting resolutions again uh, by uh, an announcement by the PR committee by Ms. Uh, San Pablo. And thank you so much as well to my co-officers in the assembly uh, for attending, for helping, for helping me out. As well, to, as well as to my secretaries, my technical team. And uh, of course, to all of you, all of the members here who attended from the CSE presidents and representatives, the UBO presidents, maraming salamat. Uh, also to the EACs and University Student Council of Biko University, thank you so much because this is just my job to preside the meeting, but the power is yours to actually legislate the and uh, serve the students uh, by your resolution. So congratulations for that. Now, I don't have any more announcements, but siguro just to add na lang, kindly watch the premiere of Parampangan 2022. The, its head or event head is our Mr. Ryan Basanta and Jan Astor May Salen. So it was premiered yesterday and actually it was... Um, mentioned in 24 horas. So, the five presidential candidates were interviewed by the hosts, hosted by us, means and me. So, for the awareness, of course, of our fellow students in the university, we kindly encourage you to watch it and share it so that we get to know more about our presidential candidates. Anyway, uh, I don't have any more Announcement to do, may I hear uh, from someone to please do uh, or raise a motion to adjourn the meeting? Madam Chair. Madam Chair, I move that the adjournment for today's special meeting be adjourned exactly at 6.35. So there is a motion to adjourn this meeting at exactly 6.35 p.m. Do we hear a second? I second the motion. motion having been seconded, are there any manifestation, comments, or objections? Hearing none, the motion to adjourn this special meeting at exactly 6.35 p.m. is hereby carried and approved by general consent. Now, uh, may I request everyone, all the attendees, to please open your cameras for the documentation. So it will be assist we will be assisted by the technical team. Thank you so much everyone. Congratulations. I am super proud. Also, thank you so much to my secretaries, Jen Astro Misalen, December and Mendones. Also to Dan, he is actually here with us, helping out with the technical matters. And as well as to the junior counselors who are staying with us. And of course, to my pro tempore, thank you so much, Sid. I so appreciate you and thank you for your uh, 
competence in handling and presiding this uh, meeting. So I'll see you. I hope to see you for the second legislative assembly. Now, since naka on ang cameras, uh, smile tayo, okay? Mga three takes to. So in three, two, one, smile. Yeah, another one. Let also let this also be uh, one proof of your attendance until the end, okay? So another one in three, two, one. Okay, and we're the last in three. In three, two, one. Okay, thank you so much. Now, before we leave this um, Zoom meeting, please, may I request for all of us to not leave until we, uh, until the presentation or saying of the beauty in respect to our elders. This is the Hello po, Tito Ron. Hello po. Itatan. Ay, nasa labas po. Hindi pa po tapos meeting namin. Tumatawag kasi ako sa kanya tapos kinakanit ka na kausap ako. Ngayon tinatawagan ko, hindi ako sinatagot. Hmm, baka umalis lang po. Wait lang po. Ewan ko sa inyo, Papa. Thank you, po. Thank you, po. Bye, po. Thank you, po. Bye, po. Thank you, everyone. Bye, bye, po. Recording stopped.